Now, Mark, you talk a lot about um, moving from nouns to verbs, and uh, just say a little about that to queue up our audience first. Okay. When, when people talk often about technology, they think of nouns, they think of PowerPoint, they think of an iPad, they think of the Wikipedia. And those are tools to do something. And those things are presenting, or there might be learning, or there might be connecting with people. What's important is that the verbs are not, don't change. And the nouns really change all the time these days. So if we want to focus on the learning part, we can focus on the verbs and say we want our kids to be good presenters and good communicators and all that. And what is the latest and best tool to do that? And I'm fond of talking about the death of education and the mm. dawn of learning. That now and out of the window and here comes the verb. The question that's coming on Twitter, though, is from somebody who knows your work on that and knows my views. And they said, do we think that making relationships is one of those key verbs that's going mm -hmm. to characterize what our learners need for the future? Making relationships. Is that, is that an enduring verb? Yeah, I, I think it probably is. And, and I think it's, it's, always, it's one of those things that's always been useful. As the uh, uh, delivery man said to me the other day, he said, uh, I don't need to read and write. I have a computer for that, that I punch the buttons and I do this. I said, well, what's important? He said, talking. Mm -hmm. And being able to, to build those relationships and communicate, not only in person, but online as well, and see the blend. Somebody talked about a program where you bring people together first, get them to meet in the flesh, mm -hmm. and then after that, that facilitates the online relationship. Um, and, and online you get this wonderful parative esteem of contribution because the, the cues and clues of who you are, are 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 managed in a different sort of way. You're in control of your avatar and how you speak and right. you know, we see people who struggle sometimes with, with writing polite emails and so right. on because it's a different it's a different world. But uh, for sure you do get a greater parative esteem and I think that ability to work with others, that collegiality, that mutuality that's characterized really the last 20 years, certainly from 93 onwards, is just so, so, so important. I think that's going to be enduring. Well, uh, on the other hand, you also have the flame culture. So you also have this ability that people say to say anything that first comes to their mind and, and not caring what, how it sounds or how it hurts people. Uh, and that we have to deal with as well. I think um, some but people are just... They take a little time to adjust. It's like the guys who used to talk really loudly on their phones, you know, and I'm on the train, you know, and it, you don't get that so much now. You know, I think people, yeah. people find a voice that, that suits the technology, and it takes a little while to... Well, I think that's part of the that, educational you know. process is to help them do that. And my, I like to say uh, uh, people will complain about online, and they'll say, well, where's the body language? Mm -hmm. um, and I say, well, where's the body odor? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. meaning that... We don't have lookism. No, we you, don't judge you, people. You, 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 lose some, you lose something and you gain something. You and each, something in each medium, and if you don't see them as two equal worlds and try to struggle with what's building, appropriate for which. But building and maintaining relationships, yes. the question we were asking, mm -hmm. absolutely is going to be enduring and is going to be key. comes back to that question we were discussing earlier about assessment, that surely working together should be a key part of assessment. You know, that, that moment in the... In the academic year, for us, it's the middle of August when children open their own envelope, get out their own results and look at their own score. That says nothing about making relationships. Why wouldn't we get out our test score and say, hey, we've got an A between us, you know, mm. that'd be better. So I think we've got, to, we've got to incorporate those relationships more into learning. We've got the tools to do it, haven't we? Absolutely. And yeah. it's also the relationship between the student and the teacher. Of course. Yeah. And, and that relationship also can become much richer with the technology and where uh, teachers very often don't know what their students' passions are. It's absolutely amazing. The teachers haven't asked, the kids haven't said anything. If they did, they could have interactions one-on-one um, -on -one or one to small groups that would be so appropriate and so meaningful to the students and in return more meaningful and valuable to the teachers. And, and, and making relationships doesn't anymore depend on geographical proximity. It's kind of nice that you're over here in Bournemouth and uh, you know, but we, we, we could do a lot of the work we're doing now together at a distance because the tools are, are very personal and very, and very powerful. Um, so making relationships online is a key part of all this as well. And I think schools haven't gone far enough yet with that learning elsewhere dimension, but they will. You feel the change. The good schools you go into, you talk to heaps of kids, so do I. You know, they, 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 they work with others and they work elsewhere all the time, often in their games, of course. And the world of work is going that way. That's what yes. I started off when I had my first small company with an office. None of us were comfortable looking, judging, seeing what we were doing. Yeah. We all went virtual, we all worked out of our homes, yeah. 
and it was perfect. And we just said, get the work done, this work done by then, and it, we could communicate, and we stayed closer friends because yeah, of it. And Lisa and I run an entirely virtual office, and we, mm -hmm. we talk and chat and, and work together daily. We, we see each other monthly, I mean, it just works, doesn't it? And if, the, if that's gonna be the world of the future for the kids, they ought to get training in it while they're in school. Which raises an interesting question about how many seats do you need in the school? We've got a thousand children. Mm. How many seats do you need in the school? 600, you know, because you've got to make the assumption that some of them are learning elsewhere at any time. Making relationships important where you are when you do it. Whole nother story.